In today's all-time team challenge video, we take a look at the past 13 Defensive Player of the Year awards. The reason why they are on the San Antonio Spurs is because Kawhi Leonard is the reigning Defensive Player of the Year winner. So take a look at the team. You know, we got Kawhi, we got Gary Payton, we got KG, Ron Artest, aka Meta Roll Peace. But other than that, man, like we got big men on big men on big men. I think we have... I'm going to go with nine centers. I'm just going to put that out there. I think that might be right. Let's see. We got three. We got six. And I'm pretty sure we have eight or nine centers. So this is not going to be fun whatsoever. And yes, nine centers on our team. So yes, this probably will still be easy considering we have the best defensive players in the game in, in, in 2K really. And for some of these challenges, I do go on 2KMTCentral.com and I basically just copy there my team cards. So for example, with this one, I went and I think I got Alonzo Mourning, maybe. I definitely got Dwight, uh, Defensive Player of the Year card. So for those of you wondering why the ratings are higher than the official 2K Sports roster, there you go. So as you see, we are 51-2 at the all-star break we lost to the magic in the portland trailblazers one at home and one on the road but we are 10 and 0 in the division and only allowing 94 points per game that is crazy impressive alonzo morning does lead our team in scoring with 15 and a half points Kawhi is second with 15 and then ben wallace poor ben wallace only scoring about four points per game now the rebounds i was pretty surprised to see that Kevin Garnett actually led our team in rebounds. I thought that David Robinson would or Ben Wallace. Well, actually, Kevin Garnett's starting, so it's kind of obvious that he's leading our team in rebounding. I don't know. It was either going to be him or uh, Akeem Olajuwon. Taking a look at the field goal percentage, I I would assume that everyone has above like a 45% uh, field goal percentage because we are basically all big men besides Kawhi, Gary Payton, and Ron Artest. And I'm forgetting one more. I can't think of the name, but I swear, I, I, I think I'm forgetting one more. I don't know, man. Taking a look at the steals per game. We are one game, one steal ahead of the second place team in the blocks. Ten and a half blocks per game. And then when we take a look at the steals, that's about 50 more. The blocks, that is 100 more blocks than the second team in the NBA. Like, that is crazy impressive that we have actually done that. And then take a look at the award winners. I honestly wasn't even paying attention, so I don't even know if we don't have, well, if we have anyone there, but I'm not expecting anyone there considering that no one ever wins a single award in these all-time team challenge videos. Let's see if we can win at least Let's go with 80 games. I would love to win 80 games to end the year, and things are looking pretty great for us. We beat the Warriors twice, and we go 80 and two, finishing with a 32 game win streak or a 34 game win streak. I, either way, man, crazy season from us, and obviously Greg Popovich is going to be the coach of the year in the NBA as we do go 80 and two with a 99 team overall. The only player to make a single team was Kevin Garnett, who did make the all defensive second team. I mean, I would hope that he would make the all NBA second team, all, all defensive second team, because, you know, this is the past 13 defensive player of the year award winners. Alonzo Mourning is still leading our team in scoring. Kawhi is right behind him. And Ben Wallace is still the lowest scorer on our team. Taking a look at the rebounds, KG leads that. Gary Payton leads assist and steals. Alonzo Mourning leads blocks. And then take a look at the field goal percentage. Again, I mean, we should all be above, I'd say like a 45%. Then the team stats on the year, we only allowed 93 and a half points per game, which is a 27 point differential, which is absolutely insane. Taking a look at the rebounds, we lead that by eight, steals by about one, blocks by about two, and then you guys already know the drill. Look at this, man. Rebounds is about 600, assists is 700, steals is about 90, but blocks, man. That's like 134 more blocks than the second team, which is absolutely freaking insane. We do sweep our first two opponents. We lose one game to the Thunder, and we only lost it by four, but all of the other games were blowouts, as you see. We won 144 to 95 in game five, which is crazy. Here we are in the NBA Finals taking on the Chicago Bulls, and it is looking like we will be sweeping them, which 
doesn't really come to a surprise considering this team is absolutely beastly in all areas, especially defense. From deep, off target with that shot. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. And your finals MVP, as you saw, is Kevin Garnett in four games. Averaged 22 points, six and a half rebounds, four assists, half a steal. No blocks, which is actually pretty surprising, and three turnovers. And then the old Kevin Garnett, Kevin Garnett does retire and makes the Hall of Fame. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section which all-time team you would like to see. The next one will be the past 13 finals MVPs so we can see who will actually win the finals MVP out of all 13 finals MVPs and yes they will be on the Warriors because Andre Iguodala won the finals MVP so next video don't comment about them being on the Warriors and complaining because so many people do that like PSA that's all I'm saying thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time peace